Okay. What's up everybody? Welcome to the show today. Just because the world is stopping doesn't mean we are. What's happening on the episode, Mars? Uh, well, we might just get into making some pancakes on the grill. Uh, get into those more here, right? You know? Ten and then uh, we, we're going to probably FaceTime a few people, maybe Julian, see how he's doing up in San Francisco on complete lockdown. And then, also, we might put out our movie just a little earlier than we expected. More on that later. Roll the forge! Oh, what's up, dude? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, Riggs? Brought you this to use this morning. I never know how high do you go. That's good. I do a lot of work with volume. All right, two cups, three fourths cup of water. So what's two three fourths? One and a half. Uh, yeah, I might have been a math nerd because I can add three fourths twice. Just do one. Three and one thirds half. equals three fourths. Three one thirds equals a cup. <laughs> <laughs> like if you have three bananas and you remove two, you have one banana. That's the type of math Mars did. So if I do a half of one cup. Yeah, that's one and a half. Yeah. Is that too and much? Now, and now just kind of stir it. Maybe I should be the guy that does this because I do this every morning with my kids, you know? I usually add an egg and some milk. You keep your space. Yeah. Hot? Huh? A little bit. Too much cooks in the kitchen here, bro. Oh, Scooby. Get it, get it, churning, get it, get it. Churning, churning, churning. On the griddle, about to be. I brought some extra toppings that I like to put on top of mine. That's a pretty good mix right there, that's a pretty good mix. You just keeping your distance, dog? Keep your distance, B. Okay. Let's do this. We're not even up to temp yet, Heaps. We're, pre We're still preheating, man. Get that pump. Get that pump. Oh, what's up, there, Julie? Hey. Hey. How's it going? You can't see Marzen because the camera's blocking it. Yeah, I got a six are foot. You, yeah, we got. I, I, just, I just assume you guys are practicing social distancing. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, right here, six that's, feet. Oh no, oh, no, it's too hot. The hot tub's too hot. We're what are we gonna do? Man, we're good. Keep the distance. It, it goes up. It comes down. What is what it's like in San Francisco yeah, right now? Yeah, give us the beach. You guys are on lockdown. What's it like? Uh, have you seen I Am Legend? It's like yeah. I Am Legend. You know? Hey, Will Smith said that he feels part responsibility for the pandemic because of making I Am Legend. It's just like putting sunscreen on your lady's back, you know? Yeah, or your dudes, you know? Oh. Whatever you're into. On a level of 1 to 10, 10 being really good, how are you as a chef? I am like a 10 when it comes to like two items. Okay. And that's eggs. Eight eggs of omelets or scrambles of sorts okay. and uh, cereal French toast. Like really good at that. All right, so that doesn't qualify yeah, you as a not, chef. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's, I, I would that's, say you're not even a sushi. Yeah, chef. You, you're but basically was, Campbell's chunky soup. What are you doing for your fitness? Like now that all the gyms are closed and you live in an apartment in San Francisco, super populated. So like, if you live in an apartment in San Francisco, you're pretty much a flat. So you have no garage, you don't have like a driveway, um, and the streets are all slanted. So you're not like rolling out equipment. I live on a hill. And really, I'm just kind of doing prison fitness, man. I got like a pull-up bar and I just do some push-ups and I try to do some sit-ups, but it's well, really that. just prison fitness. So I like to go like this, you know, a layer down there, put a layer up here, and Smoke. a little layer on top, you know? Oh, that was too many. This could be kind of dry. I don't know. You got a keto free, sugar free. Sugar free, keto free, baby. Yeah, because you got. We don't put that other stuff. <laughs> oh, it, it runs like. Not like syrup should. <laughs> Oh, we don't know. I mean, Nobody knows, here. man. The earliest an event will be is June, if that's if that if we could get there. Dang, man, that's insane. Right? That's so far out. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. What I'd really like to do is have like a really high sugar fat breakfast and then hit a workout right after it. I heard you guys had earthquake. Dude, uh, we had an earthquake. Whole house shook, yeah. dude. Had an earthquake. Moroni on top of the temple, on top of his people's church. Did a little mic drop. He dropped the horn. <laughs> Oh wow. Very ominous, that's dude. Like, that's like an omen or something, right? Yeah, <laughs> right? Time to rate the chef. What we got? I mean, this is the first time triggering it. You know, I, I think I probably could have done it a little bit different. They're a little dry. I'd give it a six. <laughs> that's pretty low. I'd give him like a seven and a half. 
Okay. 7.5. Thanks, man. Um, you know what time it is? Wait, you got to saw it? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fly, sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide. Cut the music. Just go, dude. Come on. The world is needing some Mars and eating pancakes. This is what we need right now to, to cure dry, this man. pandemic. Ooh. Cue the music. Coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Ah. Uh. Got it. Where you go? Yeah, I got. I gotta play some classical music. Cue classical. The delectable. See that little bit right there? It's like a paste, and then I drop it here on the top. Mmm. Mmm. It melts on the bottom. And you scoop it like a butterscotch peanut butter paste. You know? Hobo's dick cheese. It's not like that at all. I mean, between Kobe Bryant and everything else, man, 2020 really came in was like, hold my beer, I'm gonna shake some shit up for you guys. Yeah. 2020 is like, for sure. this thing is coming in hot. Dude, what are you thinking? We got a bench and we got an 80 pound med ball that's very awkward. And so we're gonna bench press and we're gonna hold the med, med ball and squat with it in the front. I'm thinking we do 10 down to one, what do you think? Sounds good to me. What do you know about that? Yeah, what, what, what body yeah. weight bench? Yeah, if you wanna scale it, I would double the bench, I would double it into like double push ups so it's 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Same with the med ball, but just squat with whatever you have. Okay. Let me give you a little gym tour here, huh? How about it? We just yeah. recently set this shit up because all the gyms are closed. Got a rig, barbell, sandbag, uh, even bigger ball. Got a box, got a wall ball. What do you know about these, Heaves? I know about dumbbells. Yeah, 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 we got a wide variety. We got our go-wad mat. We got this, people. Some of you don't know who that guy is. Oh, what's up, that boy? As you can tell, I was an iPhone 6 Plus user at the time, 2015. And then uh, I got Catherine here just uh, to make sure I don't uh, go shallow on my depth. Oh, before I get into the bench, you know, get out of my oh, my God. Hi, honey. Go wad, pre wad, bench, med, ball clean, generate protocol. So, did you know, Mars, that if you come over here, it'll tell you the number of hours that you've been mobilizing? Didn't know that. Total, seven hours, 47 minutes. 7.47? 7.47. All right, challenge. Catherine, Brooke Wells, Amanda Barnhart, Mars and Sawyers, and Josh Bridges. Where are you guys at with your mobilization while we're just on lockdown? I'm at seven hours, 47 minutes at the top of this week. It is now Friday. So next Friday, I'll check back in and see how many minutes I gather. Does that look like the guy? Man, that's a long time. Yeah, I got shades on in the garage, whatever. Ah, ding! V-sit, baby, V-sit. I'm <clears throat> maxed out right now, duh. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, Heber's gonna do the workout, and then I'm gonna clean everything down, and then I'll do it. Don't wanna spread whatever the hell that shit is. I think I'm 115, dude. Ah, uh, body weight. I picked a weight that I could just move. I don't okay. wanna have to struggle, I don't wanna have to react the bar. So for me, this is the weight that's appropriate. Do you time all your workouts well? I do, I time them all. I don't know why particularly, I don't record them. Yeah, just get Just like that, this. like a general idea of like, this took 10 minutes of work. Do you time your workouts? No, nah, not in here. Okay. Not in the butter bin. Three, two, one. Round nine, round nine. Get it, dude, get it. Keep your distance, bro. Social distance, bro. Social distance. Uh. You're a piston, you're a blacksmith. Let's go. Looking vascular, homie. At least, at least six feet. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Social distance. Whew. Oh, 
Is that it? Time. Oh my gosh. 452. That's a good workout. 452. Shoot the dump. Oh yeah, pop it. Get that pop. Take wow. Off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a good workout. That's fast. Alright. Let's find your up. Clean up crew! Clean up my shit! Get up, get up, I got a better get up, 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 I don't know where he's at, but he's getting up there. Let's go, boy. Let's get that pop. Do another rap, do another rap. Get it, dude. Get that pop. Final rap, final rap. 443. What'd you get? 452. Oh, that's good. You're right. That's it's a nice little workout. I think the weight was good. Yeah? Surprisingly. Yeah, usually you think 115, you're like, oh, that's too easy, right? Yeah, that was tough. You just gotta go, ahead, you gotta go faster. That's an 80 pound ball. Clean up crew! Rack it up, rack it up, I got a better to bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bring it a cake. Had to get my point across. Okay, be honest with yourself. When was the last time that you wipe down a bar at your gym after using it like this. It's the second time. <laughs> All right, yeah, maybe we can make some differences in the world of fitness and health by actually being healthy and clean. My wife, OCD, maybe I'll go talk to her about OCD. This is like everyone just found out about her favorite band from high school that she was the only one that knew about. And Tell now- Tell what you thought about when you were gone and yeah. So, so everyone just found out about the cool band that she knew that was quiet. So now she's kind of pissed that it's cool to be OCD. <laughs> I love you, babe. Good news, everybody. We're putting out our movie a little earlier. What happened? What's the story, Marge? The story is we went to the distribution. We said, hey, everybody's on lockdown quarantine right now. How can we do, what can we do to get this movie out sooner? And they said, why don't we uh, see how many pre-orders we can get and if we can hit a big astronomical number then we'll put it out early what happened they said they gave us fifteen thousand. they said hit this number it's more than any movie we've ever sold it was kind of a ridiculous goal i think for them i didn't i don't know if they thought we could hit this and we said done we put it out to you guys but we again said, we hit fifteen thousand people boom within 48 hours we hit that goal amazing we're super great grateful super impressed that anyone would come out and do this they are blown away and i think we hit it so quickly that they now have a lot of work to do to get this movie prepared to be able to get it out earlier. The good news is it's coming out April, and it's coming out in March, March 24th, which is only like two days away. And they had to do a lot of work to be able to get that ready for you guys. They got to get subtitles for other countries that don't have it available. You got to get audio dubs, you know, a little you got to double over. You got to maybe have ratings. Every country has its own policies of what you need to have in place before you can sell a movie in iTunes stores. So Gravitas Ventures is working with us to do, make this happen. iTunes is helping with us to make this happen, which is one reason why we're, we're exclusive with them until April 14th. On April 14th, on any other platform or most other platforms where you can rent or buy movies, the fittest will be available. So if you don't have iTunes or Apple TV, wait till then. You can download Apple TV on like Fire Stick, most smart TVs. What I typically do is I will buy it on my phone and then I will stream it to a TV using whatever technology is needed to make that happen. Whether it's Apple TV or you can stream directly using Chromecast. Um, but yeah, there are ways, work around ways to be able to get it to happen. But we wanted to say thank you to all the athletes for helping make this happen. Gravitas Ventures, iTunes, and every single one of you guys that help us purchase the movie and make it available earlier because I think the world needs some hope and I think this movie is a message of hope. Anything else? Spread better, spread joy. Oh, what's up, cat? Oh, Welcome to the party, girl.
All right, let me let me set the scene here for the people. All right, so we're here with Brooke and Katrin, sleep queens. They're gonna tell us some tips about how to sleep. Brooke is gonna specifically talk about things that she's doing right now during this time of turmoil. So Brooke, where were we? What were we talking about? Okay, well I started off with like, I kind of start winding down for bed earlier. I'm getting like in bed earlier because it takes me a little bit longer to fall asleep. So I kind of prepare for that. And then I also mentioned like taking CBD. It helps me like ease my mind and knocks me out pretty quick. I think theme. Well, as of like right now, I'm just trying to keep as much of a like routine as I normally would. So I'm not like using this as an excuse to like stay up longer or sleep in longer. Um, <laughs> look at everyone thinks so much yeah. Some people are upset. All right, Kat, what's our next stretch? Um, let's do the pigeon stretch. Right leg forward. Ooh, right leg. Okay, look, you're known for, like, ridiculous nights of sleeping. How are you sleeping so long, just in general, not just in this time period? but The longest um, ever? Yeah, what's your longest ever sleep? 13 hours. 13 hours? <laughs> That's a coma. 13 hours straight, like, very aggressive. It's like the waking up to pee. That's a, uh, that's a I'm coma. Sure I woke up to pee. But that doesn't count. I'm like not conscious. Mars, <laughs> we're gonna pigeon stretch. Yeah, Mars, yeah, catch, Mars up. catch up. <laughs> I just got DoorDash, so I, I'm yeah, like, food's yeah. over here. What are you guys watching on Netflix now that we're all quarantined and locked inside? All right, we're doing that family thing right now. Next up is we're gonna start with Harry Potter. Oh, you can do, oh, you can do the whole thing. Yeah, like the low pepper tie, where it tie, that's next step. But besides that, I'm crazy not me. I don't know, I'm kind of in the phase of like trying to find something new. I just finished Love is Blind. Did you watch that? I tried like eight episode of it and I wasn't a huge fan. It was weird. Yeah. I kind of liked the first few and I had to like skip to the end just to see like what. <laughs> You're a skipper. You're a skipper. No, I watched it. It got boring. I watch spoilers. I like reading spoilers. And if I'm watching movies, if it's a true movie, I'll always see how it ended before like, I watch it. No way. What? What? Yeah, have you guys seen like, like the movie Joy? The one that has, what's her name? Don't you ruin the movie for me right now. I have not seen the movie Joy with, <laughs> but I know, I know the movie. I, I was watching and I Googled the ending. I just needed to know that it ends okay. <laughs> oh my God. The one where she's That's like, horrible. Where she, is that the worst? She like invents something. She's like an inventor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all those hangers and. Okay, I got one. I got one last question for the people. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna get in here cozy, and then we asked this question to Carrie Pierce. So I gotta ask you guys, Facebook relationship status. What do you have put there right now? <laughs> my um, Facebook relationship status is single. Yeah, it's single. <laughs> <laughs> Put it out there, Heebs. Let the people know. Oh, yeah. Put it out. People are sliding in your DMs right now. <laughs> no. Shoot no. your shot, gentlemen. This is single yeah. time. <laughs> Not a great time if you're looking for a relationship, if you're social no, distancing, not, right? Yeah. I think it's going to, I have a feeling it's going to stay single for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we have a dance move. Margin, you want to teach him it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you, uh, Mar Mar you, you got a hinge, like, you hinge at the hip, and then, and then you act as if you're just kind of patting the ground, and then you you speed it up, you speed it up, <laughs> and then and then you that's it. That's it. <laughs> yes. Woo! All right, guys. <laughs> All right, checking in on the butter gang. I'm gonna look at hours of sleep because. Who can really sleep in these times? But let's look. I got Nick Spargo, 100%, 10 hours and two minutes of sleep. 10 hours, that's not bad. But I mean, usually there's people up here in like 16, 17 hours. Might be, uh, you know, losing some sleep right now. Crazy world we live in. Hey, yo, Heebs, what you got, bro? All right, thanks, Mars. We talked about sleep, but we're also going to talk about performance every now and then. I'm interested in people who are getting really high day strains during this kind of weird time where we can't really get out and do a whole lot of workouts. Gyms are closing. And my boy, Ferdinando Infante, got a 20.7. What's he doing? It looks like he's running, which would make sense. But then my boy, who you met in Australia in Tribal Clash, 
Charlie Cust getting a 20.6. Charlie, I got a direct communication with you. What are you doing to get a 20.6 day strain right now? I'm gonna text him right now. I'm gonna text the group. Charlie, what are you doing to get a friggin' 20.6 day strain? Question mark, exclamation point. Charlie, hit me back, let me know. Thank you for the butter gang. Thanks to everyone for watching. We'll probably just roll like to the outro now. <laughs> That's the end of our show today. <laughs> what a what a unique one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bye, Mars. Keep your distance. Yeah, you keep your distance Stay man. back, Social dude. I got I got a, yeah, no, you know I got I mean? places to be. I got yeah. things to do. Which is like I just gotta go home and maybe watch some Netflix. Maybe the fittest because it's out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, dude. Stay cool. Shit, I gotta. Make sure you wash your hands. Sanitize. All right, later. <laughs> Like yep, yep, yeah. you are. You're on live TV. We're streaming out to the world right now. Straight to the head, not man. Nope. You guys can't see my screen, right? You're not gonna like see like porn tabs open or anything. Right? Nope. <laughs> okay, great. Just making sure to double check it.